Hi, this is Christoph Conrads, and I wanted to show you a brackets extension that lets you integrate with Dropbox. First, I wanted to give you a little bit of context on the Dropbox API. As a developer, what I had to do was to create an application uh, in Dropbox, and I called it Remote Brackets. You can create applications that uh, give access to the entire uh, Dropbox of the user or to simply a folder in the Dropbox of the user, which is what I did. So the first time the user is going to access the application, it's going to create a folder with the application name, so remote brackets here, in the apps folder inside Dropbox. And all the files and directories under remote brackets will be available to our application. So with that in mind, let's um, install the extension. The extension is available in this GitHub uh, repository, so C Conrad's uh, brackets Dropbox. And so what we will do is simply download the zip file. Here we are, so let's open it uh, in Finder. And we'll simply unzip the zip file. So now I can copy it and I will go install it in the extension folder uh, of brackets. So I will go in uh, Applications here, uh, find uh, the brackets application. I will say Show Packets uh, Contents. So I will click on Contents, www extensions, User, and this is where I will paste the extension. And that's really all you have to do to install the extension. So let's close this. And now we are ready to start brackets. So you notice already that there is now a Dropbox menu item. But before we do anything, we will create a new folder for the project. So I will simply go open folder, uh, create new folder, demo and open. Okay, so now let's uh, click the Dropbox uh, menu item. And the first thing we will do here is uh, authenticate with Dropbox. And this is using Dropbox OAuth uh, API. So it will pop up a window and I will allow uh, the application remote brackets to access my Dropbox. And remember, it will only access, it will only be able to access that specific directory uh, that I showed you before. Okay, so it's successfully authenticated with Dropbox. And now I can open a folder in Dropbox. So let's uh, explore what I have here. So you see that I can uh, access all the different files and I can navigate through the different folders. So let's take uh, a simple folder with just a few files here. And we'll open that. So you see that the files are actually being lazy loaded, so they are only loaded when I click the items uh, in the menu. And now I can start editing my files. So for instance, let's uh, change the color here um, a little bit, and I can go back to my menu and simply say save, and you will see that the file was saved. Now, because I actually do have Dropbox installed on that machine, you see uh, that I got a notice there that the file had been updated. Uh, I can also create a new file. Um, let's call it demo.js. Here we go. And um, we'll write some, um, some JavaScript here. And again, I can save it. And now, of course, because it's a new file, we will receive a notification uh, that a file has been added. Again, this is only because I do have Dropbox installed on that machine. But the whole point of the extension is that you don't need Dropbox on a machine. So you can go on any machine, access your projects, uh, work, edit your files, and uh, save these files back to Dropbox.